Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gaming with Rob. We are going to play Undisputed Calbrook versus Amia King Khan. Looking forward to this one, fight fans. Joining us in their squared circle. What an awesome fight this will be. Only if we could have seen this in real life. This is Gaming with Rob. If you like undisputed, smash that subscribe button. So we're going to go to the ring very, very shortly as the game's loading. If you haven't checked this out, please do so. At the moment, it's only available on PC. But uh, I'm led to believe that it will be on console very, very soon. It should have been... Um, released pre-Christmas, of course, we're at the end of November 23, as I'm filming. 30th of November it is today, less than a month till Christmas. Whoop, whoop. Okay, fight fans, let's get this game on. Welcome to the CompuBox Academy. The crowd is buzzing for this one here tonight. I'm... He is Special K. Kell Brook, the former welterweight champion of the world, fighting out of the steel city of Sheffield, UK. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, introducing the former British welterweight champion from Sheffield, England, here is the former welterweight champion of the world, Kell Special K. Brook. Hiding out of the blue corner from Bolton, England. Here is the Olympic silver medalist, one of Britain's youngest ever professional world champion, a unified 140 pound champion of the world. Introducing Amir King Khan. And this one has all of those. Here we go, round one. Who's going to land the first big shot? What a punch. Good counter punch. You don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. Good punch. That counter shot lands. Khan was beaten from pillar to post the last time he faced Kell Brook. Will we see more of the same, or has Khan got a new game plan? He saw the results. Round fight finished in six rounds. Now they're going to do it again because Amir Khan needs redemption. He needs to prove it was a mistake. It was luck. So, this is that fight that answers everybody's questions. That answers everybody's stroke of luck, everybody's genius, everybody's look at the Irish, whatever you say it is, this is that fight. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them, more than happy. Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. Be careful, the referee he may take a point if he keeps clinching. Solid punch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. point you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecards gonna need a knockout the bell sometimes it can be the sweetest sound not sure who won that round i felt that amir khan had the better punch rate but looking at his face this cuts to the right and to the left look at that bruiser right there let's head into the second round here we go for round two Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. 
Be smart, be sharp, don't be a fool, don't get suckered in. Make him fight, your fight. Hold him, tie him up, just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. Nice counter shot. The crowd here cannot wait. They've been buzzing all day long and finally, we're about to get it on. God, listen to them, listen to them. You can, you can hear the noise, but you don't know what they're saying. It's that loud, I'm sorry, man. I'm shouting you here, I'm sorry. And he misses with that jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice punch. It's bombs away. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little touch you do. So you've got to fight a counter puncher smart. Good counter left hand there. <laughs> left punch. Perfect counter. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. with the right counter. He is down big time on the score. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. Kelbrook nice and clean. Look at the blood on Amir Khan. He's all over the place. But for me, it's probably a drawn match at this stage. He's just uh, must have weak skin. I don't know. I don't know how I open it up, to be honest. Let's head into the next round. And there's the bell for round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. Left counter scores. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? It's all offense, all the time. Changes from both men in this round. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Beautiful counter shot. Should we be surprised if these two fighters go the distance tonight considering how much they've emphasized their physical fitness? Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. Nice counter shot. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Bell was sweet music to his ears. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Look at the difference in stamina between the two guys. Amir Khan taking one hell of a beating. But his stamina is fairly good. Will he survive? Here we 
go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Good right hand. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Nice job landing that left counter punch. The courage on display here is incredible. There's a counter shot. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Are we about to see Kell Brook go down? How are they still standing? Good left counter that lands. And that left lands. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Beautiful counter punch. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? So his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. Fantastic punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. You can't do that too often because the referee is eventually going to start taking points off you. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. You know, the beaming fights like that, when you think you come up, on, ring away, you walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Look as if Cal Brooks way, way down on points then. If you've got, uh, if you believe the uh, commentator scorecards, Kel also having a cut to his left eye. Not looking good for the big man. Back into the fray here in round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. You've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons. And they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. And a counter left. Better be careful. The referee may take a point if he keeps clinching. I'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. And he will hold here, and good thing he did. This is not how the story was supposed to go for Amir Khan. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Disaster averted. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Code red for Kell Brook. Heart being shown here, but he needs more than that to survive the round. And it appears the onslaught is over it. Nice veteran move here to hold on to his opponent to slow down the momentum. Another scoring shot there. Nice shot with the left. round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go Good counter right hand again and a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close wow it's like two different leagues okay so Amir Khan's all over Cal Brook in this one uh, a little bit of a cut to the right eye, opening up there for Amir Khan. 
Let's see if we can pound some more damage on that right up. This is the beginning of round six. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows that they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. That one lands. figure out the combination to this safe punch scores very close match it shows the skill the discipline the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn this has been a very competitive round between these two left shot lands with that jab. That left counter punch will score. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. So I'm basically trying to work that right eye to see if I can get a stoppage, but uh, it doesn't seem to be opening up too much more. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Good counter punching from both these fighters. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you've cheated, now we're going to find out. He's being smothered here in the clinch and can't get his shots off. That's another scoring shot. Catch and shoot. That one will count. Two are the perfect dance partners. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire with fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play hard, play cool. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight. Kell Brook, big shot, and down. Goes oh, he goes on the canvas. He's down in the squared circle. On account of it, and he gets to his feet, it's not looking good for Special K. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. K comes out to have a go at Amia, but I don't think he's got that one. The response, though, got back up, took a deep breath, got right. Special K in a whole world of trouble. And they're back at it again here in round eight. See how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. 
God, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full bound because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he does not, I'll be very, very surprised. Punch, counter punch. Nice counter punch. There's a scoring blow. Nice counter. Not a lot of defense here at all. Still swinging with nothing left. They figure out the combination to this safe. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot and that's when they catch you. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point nails over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Nothing else he can do but take a knee to stop the beating. This is unbelievable. Look at that, the right arm. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond wow. in the next round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Kell Brook is absolutely out of stamina. Amir Khan is bashed up. But Khan is coming out victorious. It is down to Kell Brook to work that right-hand side to see if he can get the stoppage because this is Khan's victory otherwise. We enter the night, coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. They exchange punches. Which fighter will say no moss? Not many of the people in the division hit like them. fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable. Drag them. Get them complaining. Kel Brook may need a big shot and Kel Brook Oh, that campus. was a scorcher! Brook goes down once again. point the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down what resilience to be down and to be back up again to get yourself back into fight again to show your so much firepower here. oh my goodness Carl on the floor battered and bruised what an unbelievable fight you're bringing here on gaming with rob don't forget smash subscribe if you like undisputed boxing so they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Good counter punching. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. What a round. Both men knocked down in that round. Incredible stuff. And they were heavy knockdowns, too. What an absolutely tremendous round there. Both fighters go into the ground. This is the Battle of Britain. And there's the bell for round 10. Both fighters went to the canvas last round. What are we going to see here? Two knockdowns in the same round. Two both fighters 
how is this going to work? But you know what? The one that was knocked down earlier, he's the one that's got more time to recover. But it's still hard. It still plays on your brain to see what's happened. they got to think like a goldfish. Forget after 10 seconds. they got to be smart. Why sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow? Now Brook may need to take a knee here. Disaster averted. You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them more than happy. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. That punch landed. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot... Here we go in the championship rounds, round 11. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Well, he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Code red. Big shot. And down. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's surely got to be out now. There's no way Cal Brook is getting up on this one. There is no way. No. What a fight we brought you here, ladies and gentlemen, along Gaming with Rob. Hope you enjoyed that one there, Battle of Britain. You saw it here live. A Look at that face. Win. Look at that face on Amir Khan. That is hard. Did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. Wow. What a shot. This is Gaming with Rob. Special K. And Amir Khan. Look at those rounds, 91 to 97, 92 to 96, and 91 to 97. That's all irrelevant in round 11 by courtesy of knockout. Your winner, Hamia Khan. Hope you enjoyed Undisputed. Smash subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.